What's going on YouTube? As you guys know, I did just get back from VaporCon East. I'm so sorry I did not get to upload yesterday. I have just... Oh, man. Okay, so let me begin to tell you guys what all happened. Okay, so we went Friday, got there pretty close, but we were still the first ones in there. Or towards the first ones in there. Um... I had a great time. It was really awesome, man. I got to meet Cheeksy Vapes, which by Saturday we went. We woke up like way, way before the convention, so we were like, you know what? We're gonna go right around and see if we can find some more vape shops. <laughs> and I, my one of my friends, we. You know, you go into these vape shops and they have these little pens, you know. You can't taste off of those. I'm sorry, guys. Come on, man. I had a, fr a friend, couldn't taste them, but he's a big fan of cereal line juices. So, he was like, you know what, let me get two of these. Let me try these two flavors out. And one actually was pretty good. The other one was just, ugh. It didn't taste nothing like it was supposed to taste like. So, went back to the convention. Ended up stocking up on a bunch of juice. So, i probably say majority of my... Well, I wouldn't say majority of my money went on juice. But... Another thing that happened was... A smoke alarm in the hotel room. Now, I know everybody says, don't vape in the rooms. Well, we wasn't vaping in the rooms. Okay, so we were all asleep. Probably 2, 2.30 in the morning and the whole fire alarm went off. And we were all so mad because, you know, we were we were tired and nobody was vaping in the room. So, yeah, that woke us up. So, other than that, it was a great thing. I ended up coming back Saturday evening, late Saturday evening, and did go to church on Sunday morning. And, of course, I was training last week on day shift, and then now I have to go back to night shift, and, oh, it's just been so exhausting. So, I do want to apologize to you guys. I will be doing my giveaway announcement at the end of this video, so stay tuned with me. Just kind of deal with me for a little bit, just please. Okay, so the first... First, I'm not going to be able to give you guys all the juice lines that were there. I'm just going to give you guys some of my favorite juice lines that I got to see and things that I bought. Now, guys definitely need to check out Fluid Vapors. Uh, yeah. Yo. Okay, whatever. You know what? Urgh. Now. Fluid Vapors was a really awesome booth. They were just so cool about everything. Now, I'm going to tell you about some of their juices and all that stuff. I'm, I'm not advertising for you for them or anything like that. I just, I really enjoyed their juice. Their juice was really good. Now, you can get their 10 mils for $5.99, 20 mils for $10.99, 30 mils for $15.99, 50 mils for $24.99, 100 mils for $44.99, and 150 mils for $64.99. Now, they do come in 0, 3, 6, 12, 18, 24 milligrams of nicotine. I will leave links in the description of all these juice companies that I had the pleasure to visit. And now, on to my favorite juice line, guys. This is like... Uh, man. This is just like liquid gold, man. Giraffe biscuits. Guys, you guys that don't know it, it's a draft. It's called draftjuices.com. They have a bunch of flavors. Uh, Thirty mils are about eighteen fifty. Hundred and one hundred and twenty mils are sixty five dollars. They do come in zero, three, six, and twelve milligrams of nicotine. If you guys have not checked this juice out, you have to. It is so good. Definitely my favorite juice line. Definitely. Let's see. There's Moon Mountain. Now, I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about this seasonal collision course right here. Now, this is a seasonal flavor. As everybody knows, I love cheesecake, man. I just... If 
you can get cheesecake right, I'm, I'm, I'm like your best friend. Now, Collision Course is like a cinnamon Danish cheesecake swirl doohickey. Now, it is only seasonal. I will put a link in the description. You guys can get this at Moon Mountain. Um, Jewel Juice Company, which is part of Lab Rats e-liquids. Uh, also, Cheeksy Vapes is pretty much the maker of that juice. Or not really the maker, but you know, just whatever. That's her own juice line. Now, my favorite from that was called Diamond, which is a frosted vanilla custard. So, we'll leave a link in the description. You guys definitely need to go check that out. She has really great juice. She only has two flavors right now, but, you know, they're awesome. They're great flavors, so definitely go check them out. Also, want to tell you about my favorite thing. Check it out. Yeah. Ain't it sexy? That's a sexy mod, ain't it? Come, come on, guys. Come on, tell me it ain't sexy. But anyways, funny story. Okay, I was only in there for like maybe 10 minutes. And I turned around and I bought this. This little box right here. Yeah. Now, this box is by Box Mod Customs. Now, the only reason I bought it, obviously, is lime green and black. And also, another reason that I decided to buy it was it had the same exact chip as the Hexome. So I was like, oh, hey, man, I don't have a hex ohm. I can't afford a hex ohm, so I'll hop on this. So this one was about 140 Yeah, I know, it's like $60 off of the hex ohm. But this one was definitely just, it intrigued me because, you know, you could pop these doors off right here. Both sides, switch them out to any, they got a bunch of designs on their site. I'm definitely going to check those out. <laughs> so they are interchangeable, so that's yeah, everybody loves interchangeable things, man. It's, it's, it's more bang for your buck. So, anyways, guys, before I bore you guys with any more of these juice companies, I did do a little walk around around the room. You guys gotta lean with me here. I'm 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 new to going to these vape conventions and showing videos around and all that stuff. So I just want to show you guys a little bit of vape con east now. All right. You know, yeah, look, that, that, that might have been. Yeah. Like, no, I know it was. Come all the way around the room. <laughs> hey, say hi to YouTube. What's up, YouTube? How y'all doing? Moon Mountain. Moon Mountain. Moon Mountain. I had to get something exciting going on here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Uh, the tanks we got in the land of the Arctic. 
One ring, two ring, three, and then shot through. And it's like, and it's like, and it's like, and it's like, this thing, and it's like, you all right guys now that was just my little walk around i know it wasn't that great because i was actually on my way out <laughs> as i was doing that so a couple more juice companies okay so this one is by azure vaping i don't know if you guys know this it's called crocodile tears something like that but anyways i picked up a couple of bottles of their juice and it, hey man all their juice was pretty good so i got like this bear it's called berry floss it's kind of like a blueberry <sighs> like a blueberry jolly rancher if any of you guys like jolly rancher man Now, also there's Reverb, or yeah, I think I'm saying that right, Reverb. <sighs> My camera just don't want to zoom, guys, so. Now, I will leave links in the description of all these juice companies that I was able to stop by, even a link to where I got the box mod, and all that good stuff. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I got my announcement for the Turbo V3. So, the new winner is Christinoi. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's right, right here, right here. All you gotta do is contact me by email with your address, name, all that good stuff, and I will send it out to you. It will probably be on the weekend, possibly Friday when I send it out. Just because I work all week and kind of hard for me to make it to the post office so yeah that's that also thank you guys so much for watching this i hope this was a good vlog um oh i got another thing to kind of uh kind of rant about here a little bit um so i was with i was with a few of my buddies while i was at VapeCon, and uh my friend was looking at a drip tip Accidentally dropped it on the floor. It must have rolled under the table and The vendor automatically assumed that he stole it and Actually went back and he reported to him before even saying anything to him and Come to find out it was the drip tip just rolled up under the table and I just want to tell you guys that you know if you're a vendor Don't do that. I mean don't accuse somebody of stealing something if they didn't steal anything because the whole time he was there, he was uncomfortable because they f he felt like everybody knew and he, he didn't even take anything. So vendors, if you're listening to this video, don't accuse somebody unless you know for a fact that they did it because it does, it does impact a lot of people. And it does upset them and it does disappoint them. So, guys, come on, man. No. So, also, guys, you gotta, gotta kind of lean with me here. It's kind of hard for me to be my actual self in front of a camera. But, hey, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Yeah. Alright, so, let me take a little vape here and we shall say our farewells. Okay. Thanks guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to contact me. I'll see you guys next week. And hopefully I can get more reviews out here for you guys. Let's cut this out. No. Blah, <laughs>
Okay.